The symptoms associated with cardiac sarcoidosis can be highly variable. Many patients will simply present with a vague sense of tiredness, shortness of breath when they exert themselves, perhaps some symptoms of heart failure such as fluid overload. Other individuals can be found to have either a very slow heart rate, might have episodes of passing out, which can occur either because of a slow heart rate or a heart rate that's too fast, or actually develop symptoms of extra heartbeats or so-called palpitations. The problem is with cardiac sarcoidosis that, in fact, the vast majority of patients who have cardiac involvement, especially in the early stages, can even be asymptomatic. The question is how long it takes for the disease to progress to such an extent that it involves the heart enough to result in symptoms attributable to the heart. As a result, because of this highly variable symptomatology associated with cardiac sarcoidosis, it requires some degree of suspicion of the possibility of the disease to look for it. And this gets into the complexity of both how to diagnose it, whether by imaging or labs, which I'll go on to Dr. Blauet, who will explain how we try to go about this.